Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about my mini twist. As you can see, I took my mini twists out. I took them out probably a week ago almost. And I was definitely tired <laughs> of them in my head. My hair currently is a twist out. It is just very separated and fluffed and that's all I really did. And guys, if you want to see a makeup tutorial on this look, just let me know in the comments below. I didn't record it just because I think I have a similar tutorial, even though the lips are different. But if you want to see it, just let me know in the comments and I'll definitely record it for you guys. So I just wanted to do a quick video on my mini twists that I had in, how I like them, what do I do different, and things like that. So to start off, I had those mini twists in for maybe almost six weeks and they would have lasted longer than that, but I was just ready to take them out. To maintain those twists, I was just moisturizing and sealing my hair. I was doing the LCO method. If you guys want a separate video on how I do the LCO method, just in those steps, I'll show you guys, but I think I do have a hair tutorial of me doing the LCO method. But that's all I did to moisturize my strands while they were in the twist. And I would do that maybe every four to five days because the moisture would last in my hair. But I will say after like the third week, the moisture wasn't staying in my hair as long. So I would have to moisturize it frequently, maybe every two days. So by then I noticed that it was time for me to wash it because I had a lot of buildup. Because once my hair has a lot of buildup on it, it's hard for the water and the moisture to stay in my strands. So I noticed I needed to cleanse it and wash it. But I didn't want to wash my mini twists because last time I washed mini twists in the past and they got very frizzy and I just didn't want to risk that. But I did do something differently that I didn't do last time and I did wash my hair with an ACV rinse and that was maybe four that was maybe four to five weeks in of having those twists in I just did my regular ACV rinse I'll make sure I link a video showing how I do that and what I did differently that I never did before was I had the sections and I applied bands like I banded my hair into maybe seven to eight sections and I banded it all the way to the ends and that's how I cleanse my hair. I didn't put the bands close to my scalp. It was more on the strands to stretch it out so they won't get tangled. And that seemed to work perfectly fine. I just put the ACV rinse in an applicator bottle and just dispersed it all over my hair and my scalp and my strands and I just rinsed it. I didn't deep condition after because there was no need. I just wanted it to be clean. After doing the ACV rinse, I noticed that I still had buildup on my strands and I knew that I couldn't get rid of that buildup unless I took my hair completely out. So I didn't do that, I just waited. I oiled my scalp that day and sort of um, the flakiness kind of went away but I still had buildup on my strands, which was okay. I was just worried about my scalp. My scalp was a little irritated but after doing the ACV rinse, everything went fine. After maybe the third or fourth weeks, I did have to retwist the front sections and the section where I had the part at just because those are more visible so I just retwisted them which was fine and I did retwist the ones in my nape. I noticed when I started to retwist the ones on the back of my head on my nape that I had a lot of lint in there and what I should have never did was put those sections in the back so small because I did it kind of fine just because I thought it would last longer but it kind of made my hair bunch up and I did have knots and I did have tangles so I had to cut out a lot of hair which I was very sad about. Also over time the lint just was sticking to my hair and it was just a lot of lint just in the back. I would try to get it out try to use oil and not have to, have to cut it out, but I still have to cut some of it out, which is not that bad. I'm not upset about it because my hair is gonna grow. It's not like I cut off 10 inches. It was just about an inch that I had to cut just because it was just knotted around the lint. So 
after I retwisted it, I did the twist bigger this time, so they were way chunkier in the back. I probably had like three on the nape, and it worked perfectly fine. And I didn't braid them, I just two strand twisted them. I know you saw in my update video of me showing the twist, I did braid an inch and then I twisted the rest. But in the back, I didn't do that because I know that the braids caused it to be a little more tangled. So I just did two strand twists, and that worked perfectly fine. So I definitely would recommend you guys, if you ever do mini twists and you do it on your nape, if you have problems with your hair tangling in the back or lint getting on your nape, just to do them in bigger sections. After I did that, it worked out fine. I had to retwist them maybe every three to four days, which is fine. Just doing a couple on the back of my head. I didn't mind doing that. So that worked out. Overall, I would just say that I love mini twists. It's a great, great protective style for me. And I absolutely love not doing my hair and having to like worry about oh what style I have to do or how it's gonna look or how I'm gonna do this for this day. It was just so easy, easy maintenance. And that's what I love about mini twists. I will say over time that my ends kind of got a little knotted. I do have some single strand knots on my ends. And I think that's just because my hair was just out. My ends weren't being hidden or anything like that. So maybe next time I'll actually try to do styles with it. I did have a request to do styles with my mini twists, but I'm sorry, I just can't seem to do pin styles. I have very tender scalp and if I just put the littlest amount of bobby pins, my scalp would hurt. It would be sore. And I just didn't want to risk that because who likes having an irritated scalp all day? So I didn't do any styles for the twist. Maybe next time I'll try to do something that doesn't require me to have pins. Maybe I can use some scrunchies or something. I don't know, but I just didn't do any this time. I just wanted to leave my hair alone and just leave it and let it do its thing the way it does it. But yeah, I just love the mini twist. I do recommend you guys to try it out and to do it if you do have some time on your hands. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to give you an update on the twist. Um, if you guys want to see any hair tutorials, any requests, can you leave them down below? I kind of don't know what to do with style. So if you have any suggestions or any videos you want to see on my channel, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely try to get to that as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching and I'll definitely see you in the next one.